So this video is to demonstrate the head, ears, nose, and throat exam, otherwise known as the HENT exam. This first section, we're going to do the inspection and palpation of the scalp as well as the face. So we're going to start, um, as with any exam, we'll start with a good inspection. So I'm going to look at his face and look and make sure that it's essentially symmetrical. Um, that there's no areas of redness, um, no areas that are larger on one side than the other. So now I'm going to move on to inspecting his hair as well as his scalp. So if you could tilt your head forward for me, I'm going to look at the pattern of distribution of the hair on his head, um, but as well as I also need to be able to inspect the scalp itself. So I'm going to need to move the hair out of the way in location so I can see the scalp along the crown of his head. If you could turn your head to the side for me. Along the side of his head. Again, the other side. Thank you. Make sure you're checking both sides. While I'm doing this, I'm looking to see, is again, there any redness in his scalp, um, any lesions, flaking, anything like that. And then I also need to make sure I don't forget the back. And do the same pattern on the back of his hair as well. All right, thank you, you can lift your head up. So again, in doing this, I'm, I'm inspecting areas of the scalp that he cannot see, um, and therefore doesn't know if there's any abnormalities in the skin. In addition to that, I also need to palpate the scalp as well as the skull. So I'm just going to press around on your head and see if there's any areas of tenderness or swelling. And you let me know if any of this causes you discomfort. No problems there? No. Okay. Um, so you want to make sure that you're being cautious not to overly ruffle someone's hair. <laughs> um, but you also need to make sure that you do a thorough exam. Alrighty, so now that we've done that, we need to inspect the rest of the face. So we're going to start with the paranasal sinuses. So we have both the frontal and the maxillary sinuses that we're going to check for tenderness. So you can do this by straight palpation. So I want to do the frontal sinuses by pressing just above the eyebrow near the midline, pushing here and here on either side for tenderness, and the same thing above the maxillary sinuses or at the area of the cheekbone, pressing down for tenderness. Did that cause any discomfort? No. Okay. You also want to be able to percuss the sinuses, and you want to warn the patient that you're going to basically tap on their face. You don't want to just come on in and go for it. You want to actually warn them ahead of time. So I'm just going to tap on your forehead and your cheeks. You let me know if this causes you any discomfort. Okay? Any pain or discomfort? And the same thing on your cheeks. Let me know if this causes you any discomfort. Any problem? All right. Uh, normal exam findings should be no significant discomfort. So next we're going to do is palpate the temporal mandibular joint. So that is just anterior to the front of the ear. So I'm going to place my fingers on either side of his face on the area of that joint and ask you to open and close your mouth. Thank you. Any pain or discomfort? No. No. In addition to that, I should be feeling if there's any popping sensations or any crepitus as the joint moves or any asymmetry between the two sides. Finally, we're going to palpate the salivary glands. There are two main glands we're going to focus on. There's the parotid gland, which is over the angle of the mandible. And then there is the submandibular gland, which is just um, next to the mandibular rami. So for those, under normal circumstances, you're not necessarily going to palpate anything or feel a specific distinct um, tissue. Um, but if there is any abnormality, you'll either feel a mass or the patient will have tenderness. So for each one, you want to make sure you're using sort of a rotating motion. And you can do both of these at the same time. So I can have palpate both parotids. So I make sure that I've got my fingers over the area of the parotid, which is again the area of the angle of the mandible, and just use a slow rotating motion. Any pain or tenderness in that area? No. no. And then the same thing with the submandibular gland, just up under here, again, a rotating motion for the palpation. Any pain or tenderness? No. 